Hi everyone, this is Dr. Shim Ching, board certified plastic surgeon in Honolulu, Hawaii. Today we're going to talk about plastic surgery procedures for men. The most common reason I see men, the most common procedure I do is liposuction. Liposuction in men is usually in areas like the chest, the abdomen, the flank area. Those are the three most common areas that I'm treating for men who have excess fat. Liposuction is a very safe, very effective procedure that removes excess fat from pretty much anywhere in the body. But these are the three most common areas that men are seeing before. The second most common procedure is hair restoration. All men, as they get older, do lose some hair usually either at the hairline, so the hairline recedes, becomes more thin, becomes higher, or in the crown area, which is right at the top of the head. Hair restoration is an extremely safe and effective procedure where we remove hair from one part of the head to another to restore hair that's been lost. This works great. It can be done without any visible scarring. Men look younger from this procedure, but we haven't actually altered their appearance. We've just given them more hair. Very rewarding procedure for us to do, and it works very well. Great candidate for hair restoration is somebody who's lost hair from either the hairline or the crown area, still has some hair in those areas, and we can do what we call a full restoration, which is to restore their hair loss completely so it doesn't look like they've lost any hair. The downtime associated with hair transplant is usually just two or three days or so. Patients can return back to their normal day-to-day -day activities very really quickly after this procedure. Third most common procedure is eyelid surgery. Men, as they age, they tend to look more tired, more older than they should, and rejuvenating either the upper eyelid or the lower eyelid can really change a person's appearance for the better, make them more youthful, more younger, more energetic. Eyelid surgery is done without any visible scarring, works very well for all ages, and this is a very common procedure for me to do in men as well. Downtime for eyelid surgery is approximately one to two weeks, depending on whether we do the upper eyelid or the lower uh, eyelid or both. Very commonly, we're doing both the upper and lower eyelid to give patients the best results. The last procedure that I'm going to talk about is gynecomastia surgery. So that's a condition which is very common in men where there's excess breast tissue or fat in the chest that makes the chest not look the way the patient wants. It involves usually liposuction or direct surgical removal of breast tissue. Often the combination of the two things are necessary for patients to have the best results. The ideal candidate for gynecomastia surgery is a patient who is bothered by their current chest appearance and wants to look their best at the beach uh, with their shirt off. Recovery for this procedure is usually one to two weeks long. So these are the most common plastic surgery procedures that I form, perform in men in my practice. If you'd like to know more about these procedures or other procedures, please give us a comment down below. Please smash that like button, subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for listening.